might go blind because of this. Holy crap, it's bright. Woo! Hi, my lovely subscribers. So today I'm coming at you with a video that isn't about scandal. I know, shocking. Today's video is actually about a topic that I get asked about a lot, and that is my college education. A lot of people are kind of confused as to what I'm majoring in, and they want to know more about my internships. So this is going to be the first college-related video I've ever done. It is a college tag that a YouTuber named Kara Lynn did. I'll leave her video in the down bar. I actually have I haven't watched her video, but I was just looking for a general set of questions or a tag that I could do to get my college videos off and running. I will do more specific videos in the future about my application process, how I picked my college, etc. But I thought this would be a good way to just give the basic facts about where I am and what I'm doing. I apologize for my awkward nail. Uh, it fell off today and I was very sad about it. And newsflash, when you're a poor college student, you can't really afford to get your nails done. Alright, so the first question is asking what school I am attending. I am attending Emerson College in Boston, Massachusetts. Again, I will do a separate video about why I chose to come here and my experience here, but I will summarize in saying that I made the right decision. I love it here. I love Boston. I've made great friends here. I've had great opportunities here. Everything happens for a reason, and I'm so lucky that I ended up at Emerson. The second question is asking me what year I'm entering. So this is kind of where it gets confusing. I am a second year student, so sophomore. However, credits wise, I am a junior. I am trying to graduate in three years. Because I took a lot of AP classes in high school and because my college accepts a lot of that, I am a semester ahead at the moment and with a few extra little things will be a year ahead. So I'm looking to graduate next year in the spring of 2018. I love it here and I would love to spend four years here but it is expensive. So this is a really good thing financials wise and I'm also potentially going to be doing a gap year of service. So I will be starting my life at the same time as my other friends if that makes any sense. Question number three is asking what made me choose this school. I actually didn't know too much about Emerson College. I came up to Boston to look at schools because my dad was like, oh, you'll love Boston. It's just like Philadelphia. It's a good college town. I knew that I wanted to be in the city, so I looked primarily at city schools. There were a couple schools I looked at that were outside of the city, but I wanted a school that was either in or almost in the city. I didn't want a rural school. I knew that much. I love cities and I was so bored of suburbia. I wanted something very different. My dad and I noticed that this was one of the top media schools in the country, so that was what I knew I wanted to go into. Long story short, I toured here and I just got that feeling. That feeling you must get when you've met the love of your life and you know that you're gonna marry them. Just that meant to be feeling and it kind of took me by surprise because I thought that I had gotten that feeling at a different school that was my number one pick. But here I just felt really at home. It's a really awesome collaborative environment and I just felt like I finally had found a place that I could fit into. Not only is this one of the top schools for what I wanted to do, but the facilities and the people and how socially and culturally aware it was. Granted, we still have our weaknesses here like any other school, but Emerson really is a special place and I felt that the moment I stepped onto our campus. It's not really close to campus, but the moment I visited here, I just felt like this was a place that I would belong and I was right. When did you apply and get accepted? So I applied early decision to my first choice, which I'll just say it was NYU, New York University. While I was waiting to hear back from NYU, I applied to a bunch of other schools. I applied to Emerson, which was my second choice. I applied to Fordham, Drexel, Pepperdine, George Washington, American. I'm probably forgetting some. I heard back from NYU and I got rejected. I didn't think I was completely safe at NYU, so it didn't take me by surprise. I knew I had a lower SAT score than they were looking for and NYU is highly competitive. It had been my dream to go there though since I was in the seventh grade, so I was really devastated and I gave myself a day to mourn about it and my parents were really understanding and were sensitive to it. But then the day after, I just chose to move forward and look towards other schools. 
Ended up whittling down my acceptances to Drexel, Fordham, and Emerson. Ended up picking Emerson because it was my second choice and actually in the end, after negotiations, I did get the most money here. The academic scholarship made it possible for me to go here, so then that's when I made my official commitment. Number five is asking if I've received any scholarships or grants. Yes, I'm on scholarship at Emerson. It's an academic scholarship, so my GPA has to be a 3.5 or higher in order to get the money. I also have an AmeriCorps scholarship because I was in the Jumpstart program. I can talk more about AmeriCorps in a different video, but basically I volunteered at a preschool in suburban Boston, and through that, the government gave me a scholarship for my volunteering efforts. Number six is asking if I was prepared to leave the nest, and I really was. I mean, when you come to college, it's a transition period, no doubt. For some people, it's harder than others. I've always kind of been independent, like I'm not the kid who when I went away would miss my mom and dad a lot. I do miss my parents and I do miss my siblings and it's kind of sad once you've been in college for a couple years to just know that you're missing so much at home and you come back and your little sister is like a woman and it's weird and your brother has a beard. But I have to say my transition was pretty painless. I was lucky because I lived with awesome girls my freshman year and I think we all just kind of banded together. So I think that played a big part in it and also I just think mainly because I'm an independent person. You have those moments and I don't know, you get accustomed to the new life and you find ways to stay in contact like iMessage and Skype and all that good stuff. But everyone's transition is different and everyone's experience is different so I'm only speaking for myself. Number seven is asking about my roommate. So this is my second year. Your second year you'll be rooming with someone that you are really good friends with from freshman year. I did live with a really good group of girls my freshman year. We didn't really know each other until we got to school. We did pick each other. We met through the Facebook group but none of us were friends previously. Loved my freshman roommate. She was great. Loved my sweet mates. It worked out. We're still friendly so that's really cool but I am rooming with my friend Jess who actually lived across the hall from me last year. She's also a really big Scandal fan. She's a big Melly stan. I'm a big Olivia stan. We argue about it all the time but it's fine. I love her a lot. We're very similar and we're real with each other and it just works out. Number eight is if you could only take three items to college what would they be? That's a really hard question. Ooh, god I might have to think about this. I mean how are you supposed to live with only three things though like what about toiletries and towels and stuff like this is kind of a dumb question but I'll attempt to answer it anyway my phone my laptop my carry pillow just kidding actually no my phone my laptop and my camera because I use my camera for a lot of projects that I do here what is one of my college resolutions I really want to do a big collaborative project it's something that I've wanted to do since I got here and obviously I collaborate in my classes, but I want to start my own project here, which a lot of students do. Still trying to figure out what that exactly is going to be, but I just really like working with people who are in different majors to create something big, like an event or a series or something like that. Emerson's really cool that way, and again, it's one of the reasons why I like it here. Also, another college resolution is to be more organized and schedule my time right. You have a lot more free time in college and that can allow you to get into really lazy habits like just laying in bed and sleeping in and eating. I sometimes struggle with having a regimented schedule, so this year I'm really trying to change that. Number 10 is asking, what is your go-to college look? Uh, yeah, when you get to college, you kind of stop caring about fashion. You're so tired, you don't want to put makeup on, you don't want to dress up. You just throw on whatever, put your hair in a pony, and go out the door. Emerson's kind of different because most colleges, girls don't really dress up, but here, Everyone seems to be on point every day. We don't have too many athletes here, so there's not really anyone walking around in sweatpants except for me. But I don't really care. You do you in college. Anything to get by, you know. But because I live in the city and I love this style of fashion, I really like wearing sneakers and my like leather leggings. Urban chic is my favorite kind of style and that's how I dress here when I choose to actually put effort into my makeup and outfit. Number 11 asks, what is your advice to high school seniors and or incoming freshmen? My advice would be to not get attached to one school, to look at multiple schools, look at as many as you can even if you think you're not going to like them because there were actually schools that I looked at 
that I did like, didn't end up going to them, but it just helps you also figure out what you want. If you're not sure geographically where you want to go, go to a school that's close to home, go to one that's far away, go to one that's rural, one that's in the city. If you are able to apply to as many schools as you can, I know applying costs money, so you know, obviously don't spend thousands of dollars applying to schools. It's good to keep your options open. My other recommendation is also not to get too wound up in picking a major, especially if you're going into communications, which I know a lot of my subscribers and followers are. You don't have to get a degree in television production to work in television. The marketing director for Scandal went to school for journalism. It really, especially in communications, doesn't matter. Don't feel forced to declare. Keep your options open with that as well. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You'll figure it out eventually. Don't stress. I'm just now realizing that this wasn't a question on the list, so I'm going to add it, and that is what I am majoring in. I am majoring in marketing communications with a focus in social media, and I am minoring in political science as of two days after the election. A lot of people ask me what industry I want to work in or what I want as a job, and actually, I don't really know yet. <laughs> I've always known what I wanted to do, but once I got to college and interned at different places, I'm kind of overwhelmed because there are so many things I'd like to do. I'm just living it day by day, and I'm doing various internships in different industries, in government, in entertainment. I'm going to add one more question and that is what internships I've had. So I have been a social media intern for an ad agency which I'm actually going back to this summer. I was a photographer for the Democratic National Convention. I also did a little bit of social work for them as well. And then this fall I started out as a volunteer for the Clinton campaign and then kind of worked my way up a little bit and started doing some organizing and social media strategy for my local Clinton campaign. Went door to door in New Hampshire and then also tweeted, made videos, etc. I've also done press for a club that's on campus called Entertainment Monthly. I covered Kerry Washington's press conference at Harvard, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's press conference at Harvard, and Paley Fest Los Angeles. If you guys want to get behind the scenes vlogs about those experiences, I will leave them in the down bar below and you can click and watch them. I have a video on Hasty Pudding and I have a video on Paley Fest Los Angeles. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know what college videos you want to see and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!